it doesn't meet the requirements of your license. So technically, the copyright holder is giving some license. I have a dream. That's all I need. I'll make it up in some work and believe. Hi, welcome. Welcome to this video. Like you know, in this video, we discuss a question about copyright in the US. Before we go into the question, if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe. If you have questions about this topic that I'm going to discuss, make sure you go in the Discord and ask me directly. And if you want to support the channel, make sure you press the link in the description. So today's question is, how do I get permission to use someone else's work? This is an interesting question and the answer here can be complicated but can also be simple. We're going to go to a drawing board. I'm going to explain to you how copyright works and then we will tell you what ways are there for you to get permission for someone else. So let's go to drawing board. As you can see, this is drawing board. What you need to keep in mind is when you talk about copyright, you always have three things. You have A, B and C. So if you create something, you have on that something copyright if you meet the requirements. You are the copyright holder and if I want to use it, I am C. So I'm the third person and I want C. The thing is, I want the permission from you to use it. Let's say you create a picture and I want to use your picture and I want the permission. The question is, how do I get permission? One, just ask. It's simple. I will just contact you and ask you for permission. Most time on websites out there, you can find contact information, contact the copyright holder and ask them. Two, buy a license. Let's say you have your picture on an agency, on a website of an agency, and I buy that picture, I buy a license there to use that picture. I have a license. So one, I can ask. Two, I can buy a license. And three, what do you think three is? Three is sometimes some photographer or some authors or some copyright holder, they give you beforehand permission. That means if you meet certain kind of requirement, you do not need to ask permission and you do not need to buy the pictures. Let me give you an example. Let's say you create a picture. You are saying, hey, you're only allowed to use those pictures on Facebook. If you use it somewhere else, it doesn't meet the requirements of your license. So technically, the copyright holder is giving some license. Try to keep that in mind. Another example is the following. Let's say you create music. You tell your audience, hey, you're allowed to use this music in your video or whatever, but you're only allowed to use it on YouTube and Twitch. An example of an artist that does that is the Fat Rat. So we have three situations you can ask, you can buy, or the copyright holder is giving you beforehand permission if you meet certain kind of requirements. That's simple. So we have three ways. There are other ways. I'm not going to discuss the, all of those ways in here, but I'm just going to give you some examples how it works okay. let's recap in this video i showed you three ways how you can get permission one you can ask two you can buy a license and three maybe the copyright holder give you permission if you meet certain kind of requirements most of the time they post it on the website if you have question about this topic just go on the discord and ask me directly if you're new to this channel and you like this kind of content make sure you subscribe if you want to support us make sure you press the link in the description I will see you in the next video. I have a dream, that's all I need. I'll make it up in some work and believe. Know what I want, so I'll take it on. I've made mistakes, but mistakes make you strong. Let's break it down for a minute. I want the crown, I'm gon' get it. You hear me loud, man, I'm winning. Yeah, Charlie Sheen will be.